Yes, thank you. Um, yes, I've been working last the last three years in the early utilization of um, Visionet. And to put in context our work, um, in human biology and medical science, all that we want is to understand diseases. And to understand diseases, we need um, to understand the complex relationships between biomedical um, bioentities, um, between um, genotype, phenotype, and environment, um, uh, like how radiation influences the genome and all that. So, but to get um, medical relevant information, um, we need to, uh, for patient care, we need to integrate, um, we need to understand genotype phenotype relationships to bridge the gap between um, patient care and, and, and research. In order to, um, to get better prevention, diagnosis, and therapies. So, how is the access of genotype phenotype relationship? in the open biomedical research. Um, well, the reality is that we have a lot of, of, of information, uh, but distributed in different um, resources, in different repositories. Um, uh, this information, um, for example, if we query a gene, uh, 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 we get uh, several uh, diseases, but this is, may not be the same in different repositories, so we have overlap, but... And this uh, information is encoded in different terminologies, using different terminologies, uh, in which the, uh, the concepts um, maybe are not 100% um, uh, overlap, uh, exact. So, uh, we have uh, mainly a lot of information, but encoded uh, in different standards, um, um, isolated in different repositories, and um, in what is named like um, knowledge pockets. So, say, um, so uh, we need a resource that gather, integrates, and provides an, uh, to analysis tools to get information. So we need, uh, we, I want to present this Jeanette that is a knowledge platform on human gene disease associations that integrates information from uh, literature and from biomedical um, databases. Um, we aim to cover all the disease areas and um, giving um, uh, emphasis to, 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 to granulate, uh, very, very well granulate the evidence, uh, the provenance uh, of the associations. So how is implemented, how we do this in it? Uh, basically, we extract uh, by text mining uh, gene disease associations from the literature uh, with a, um, with a B-free system that is a, a text mining system that uh, is um, developed in our group. And also we integrate uh, gene disease associations from several biomedical open data sources in a local um, database. So in the... In the current release, um, we have no, um, ne um, sorry, nine different sources that we classified in, in depending on the level uh, of evidence and, and type of curation. Uh, we have um, classified as curated, as predicted, if uh, they come from animal model resources and literature, if they come from text mining. Uh, a little bit of a statistics of the current release is uh, we have a lot of information in our um, database, but as you can see, uh, the eighty percent of the information gathered is coming from B3, is coming from text mining. Uh, so if you if we look a little bit into uh, the data that we have, uh, we see well, what we can see is that we have a little overlap between the gene disease association extract by, extract by text mining and the curated ones. So um, we need definitely bio-curation pipelines. I think it's an issue in the field. Uh, um, so we emphasize, uh, we, need, we try to standardize uh, our data. Um, we develop an ontology um, to capture the knowledge um, that is in the 
biomedical databases uh, for the types of relationships between genes and diseases in a no um, in no language that it's integrated in SIO. Uh, also, um, we identify our entities. Um, we did a normal a normalization for identify our entities. Diseases are identified by UMLS concepts and genes by NCBI gene ID. And also, we use controlled, uh, as much as we can, controlled vocabularies to annotate our entities. So, at the end of the day, what we have when you um, search gene disease associations in this genet, uh, because we um, capture all the provenance of each statement of gene disease associations, we have um, uh, all the provenance of the statement, uh, of the association, sorry. Um, and also, we developed a score in order, uh, in order to um, to uh, help the user um, to um, to exploit to explore our our data with a feeling of the, the evidence that supports each association. And also, we um, track the SNPs in each association. So. Um, but as I said in the beginning, because to understand diseases, we need uh, also integrate um, the gene disease associations into um, it's more data, more types of data in order to extract the information. Uh, we convert this in RDF uh, uh, into different linked data sets in RDF and in nano publications, mm, following um, the guidelines, the open facts guidelines. And we give special emphasis to the data set description um, and to interlink our um, associations to the linked open data, uh, data cloud. Um, we also offer open access to share our, our data to the world via a SparkQL endpoint. And yes, we have issues of, uh, with the performance of the, of the endpoint. And that's it. So um, we also um, make an effort to annotate our diseases. Uh, we um, cross-reference all, all, all um, our diseases to several um, disease terminologies to to be more interpret to be more interpretable, and uh, we. Um, um, annotate our disease with the disease phenotype. Um, associations that came from the HPO project in order to generate better the, the gene uh, information to a fine grade phenotype in the end. So also, um, this genet, the DigiNet platform uh, have several um, tools for exploring the data. Uh, we have a web interface to browse and search the data. Uh, we have a Cytoscape Cytoscape plugin to do network analysis with our data. And uh, we have a Spark well endpoint to explore uh, in a lean data context um, our data. So uh, a little bit of, a, of statistics about the usage of our resource. Uh, in the last year, we, we had um, 7,000 users. Uh, on, um, 16,000 downloads and uh, this genet um, is used in 20 publications and cited in 16 publications. So to sum up, uh, this genet is a resource for translational research and that can um, uh, um, yeah, help the, the, the users to, to get more um, information about the gene disease associations and thanks to David group, my group, um, um, for all the support. Uh, thanks, special thanks to Christian Chichester, Sir Michel de Montier, Tobias Kuhn, Mark Thompson, uh, Gilles Van Damme, the Open Facts collaborators and the Digenet users for their feedback. And, uh, and a special thanks to the organizers of the video hackathon to invite me. And if you have questions.